everyone, welcome to another episode of Rose Rates. I'm really dark today. <laughs> Say hi to one of my little friends. This is Scabbers. He's a new baby of the group. He's so tiny. He's so little. I thought, you know, he's a dark colored rat and he would be good. Um, the Halloween theme. Today, we're trying something really exciting. I hope it works because if it does, it will last a long time and it will freak everybody out and it is going straight in my windowsill. I don't care if it's still September, it is going straight in my, is it September? I think it's October now. I don't know, because I don't know when this video is gonna be uploaded. I'm so excited. It's a jar and you get, I've got a little plastic jar well, I say little, it's, it's actually quite big. Uh, plastic jar, and then you have to go on Photoshop, take a picture of your front, your side, and your side, and then you merge them together on Photoshop, print it out, laminate it, put water into the container, put a little bit of food colour in, I might go orange, might go green, I'm not sure. Um, and then you basically put it in and it looks like your head is in a jar. How cool is that? I'm really excited to try this and I can't see why it wouldn't work. Let's just hope, I mean, I've got, you know, your bare minimum skills on Photoshop. So hopefully <laughs> I can get it to look how it's supposed to look, but we shall see. And if you want to see if I can get it to work and if scabbers will stay on my shoulder, stay. then, um, Keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> what are you doing? I I wrapped in wrapped it. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> what are you doing? You're so tiny. Look how tiny he is. You're gonna mess my hair burn up, aren't you? <laughs> my hair. Well, to be honest, my hair's messed up anyway. I've done the first step and I don't really know how to film the screen and when I tried it before it was a little bit like the screen was doing this <laughs> wait where's the camera <laughs> so I did it without recording it because there's nothing to record really I took a picture of my face like this and then like this and then like this and then I put them all on one page on Photoshop and then like when on the pictures like this I cut out like till here and then in the middle I cut out like there and then like move them in together and just smooth the edges down and I came up with this masterpiece Ain't I attractive? I took a picture of this side and sort of cut it there and then took a picture on this side and cut it there and then that's the middle one there and that is going to be the basis of oh look at that uh, it's going to be the thing so what i'm going to do now is cut the white bits around the edge off so that it looks seamless and then i've got my tub that is actually big enough to put my own real head in that should be perfect Perfect fit, look, should fit, Ooh. perfect, look at that, I didn't even measure it, I wonder if my head would fit in this, oh my god, <laughs> it fits, <laughs> I'm comfortable, can you hear me? Look at my nose. <laughs> anyway, this, I've got a laminator now. Oh, I think I'm worried that's been my face. So basically you laminate it and then it goes in this. And it looks like, oh my God. <laughs> that looked really funny already. Uh, I can't wait. This is gonna be such a funny thing. Let's get laminating. Thank you. 
guys welcome again once to my kitchen i should have made an intro of this with me talking hi guys welcome to my kitchen <laughs> so i'm gonna fill it with water and then add a bit of food coloring um what color do you think i should do it let's have a think let's go with green why not green slime let's go with green be right back i've got this green green food coloring and then what i'm gonna do is fill this tub with water and add a couple of drops of this. Bear with me a second. This is just the green food colouring. I think that's more than enough. I don't know if I made this too green. I might have to pour some out and put some more water in, but it's not an issue at all. What do you think? Does it look real? Maybe I should try and put some sticky tape to make the head a little bit less flat. Let me try that. I can leaving that much gap. Made the head, the top of the head a little bit smaller than the bottom. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I think that makes it a little bit better actually. Ah, oh, the bottom one's come undone. Oh no, it hasn't come undone, it's just um, a bit wide, I think. Let's see how that looks. <laughs> I think that looks better actually, don't you? Is there a way of making it stay? Let's put a little bit of across the top to make it stay in a... <clears throat> specific position. Stay over there. I think that <laughs> looks really realistic actually. It's quite freaky. Like it. I wonder what it would look like in a dark room with a light on it. Should we try it? That's so freaky. Let me try it. So this is with a little mini ring light that I've got. Let's have a look. That looks pretty real. Oh, the front looks good, but you can really clearly see the cut-off line at the chin. That looks really realistic. I really like it. Look, look how 3D that looks. Like that. Awesome. Well impressed with this guys. I'm really glad that it did genuinely work and that it, <laughs> it wasn't another fail for this series. It looks so creepy. I like it. I think this is going to be my favourite thing to do. I think I might get a few of like friends and family maybe. <laughs> I don't know if they'll be flattered or terrified. That's really cool. I like it, guys. Let me just go for the door. Okay. So, overall, I love this. I'm going to make more. I think that it's just a bargain. I mean, the pot was a pound from Poundland, obviously. The printing and editing and stuff is free. I mean, obviously, you need to Photoshop or you can just ask a friend. I'm sure someone's got it somewhere. Say hello to my little friend. It's just so creepy. Creepy cat in the dark. Do you prefer it wound around more like I've done it now, or do you prefer it flatter? I don't know what you think. I'm not sure. I might try it flatter again. And I'm really impressed that it worked. Yes. 
kind of even looks creepy from the side. Oh, I look so red today. <sighs> red Rob. Overall, I'm gonna give this two thumbs up. I think this worked really well. I'm really impressed with it. And that exact one is gonna go in my window. It's gonna be like the display, apart from Annabelle. <gasps> You guys haven't met Annabelle. I'll have to do a video on Annabelle. She's amazing. I made her last year and I don't want to tell you too much. I'll make a whole video on it. It's so good. Next week, next week. Yeah, let's do it next week. And I want you guys to have a go at this because it is so cheap and really easy. And I want you to comment your pictures down below. Um, link me to your pictures because they're fantastic. And what I'll do is I don't know if you guys would really want a picture of me, but I'm going to link a picture below of my photoshopped face so that if you don't have photoshop you can just use it and try it out for yourself, um, because that way then you don't have to purchase photoshop. If you do use my photo, <laughs> please do send me a picture because that would be hilarious. Well thank you very much for watching guys, and I really enjoyed this, and it's pretty much a very swat, uh, swat, swat. A very short sweet video but just like the Pinterest it was so quick to do I love it anyway guys we'll see you next week for the next video and um, like I said I might do an Annabelle video or I might do another Pinterest video we'll have to see but until then guys uh, good luck with your Pinterest tries and I'll see you then don't forget to subscribe <laughs>